In this video I will show you how to draw a random sample from a population of observations in Excel. So let me quickly switch to Excel. Here we are using a file of house prices, house sales, prices of house sales in Manchester. We have around 91,000 observations here and we want to draw a random sample of 30 from here. This is sort of a quite artificial exercise because in practice what you will have is you will not have the population but only one sample. But this is useful to understand sampling theory. So let's say we want to draw a random sample of 30. You could of course sort of go and sort of try to randomly select 30 rows but that's not very efficient especially if you want to repeat it. So we'll create a new column called rand and in here we're going to produce a random number. So equals rand, uh, open and close brackets will produce a uniformly distributed random number between 0 and 1. So now I double click on that little square to fill the entire column. Let's firstly confirm that this is a uniformly distributed random variable. We're going to print a histogram and we're going to do that with um, bin boundar boundaries between uh, 0 and 1. So let's just let's see here our bin boundaries. So we now want a histogram. So we go to data, data analysis, histogram. We want this column, that's right, and bin range. We want this bin range and we want chart output and we put it here. Okay. Oh, Bin range contains non-numeric data. That's right. I included the um, the title of the column. I can't do that, so I have to only use these data. Uh, everything else stays the same. So here we go. And here you can see the histogram. And as you can see, it's uniformly distributed between zero and one. So that was just to convince ourselves that this what this random variable does. So let's get rid of these columns. So how do we use this random number now to generate a random sample? Well, let's fix these numbers for starters because every time, perhaps you can see that, every time I enter something into another cell, Excel draws new random numbers in these cells. So that will be very useful actually in a moment, but for starters, let's just fix these numbers. So we'll copy them and then paste values. So now these are numbers, not functions. Now we can sort the columns by that random number. And now you see very small numbers here. And now if you want to draw a sample of say 30, you could just pick the 30 smallest values in this table. So let's calculate the average house price in our random sample. That is just going to be, let's just pick here the prices from 2 to 31. These are th 30 rows. Yeah, the average house price in that one sample is 264208. Let's actually, I'll copy that over and I'll save it. Oh, sorry, I'll copy and I save a value. Okay, so we have one sample one. Let's call it sample one. The average house price. So you could of course also pick the 30 highest. Okay, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back into this field. I'm going to put the random function back in and copy that down. So we have new random numbers. Now I'm not going to, I leave the formula. I'm not going to fix the the values go back to sort we sort again and here is a new random sample and you see we have automatically calculated again the average of this uh, of our sample of 30 with the new random variable so we just I'll just copy and paste that over here as a value so we keep it but what you see whenever I do something then there are new random variables here. So every time I do, like I save that sample, I just need to go back now and sort again. And I get my new random sample, 21, 215346. Okay, in fact, you don't even, yeah. Copy, copy that and paste value here. Okay, so now we've drew 
three random samples and we'll do it one more go back to sort sort and here's now our fourth sample and we'll just save that value and you could go on and on like this um if you want to draw a lot of if you want to draw a lot of samples like hundreds or thousands then of course this is not a very efficient way and you would perhaps use some other um language like r many of you will learn that in econometrics or you need to learn some visual basic programming to also do that in uh, excel but i hope you now understand sort of the principle of drawing samples